Barn, what are you doing in there? Ovulation day. Right, come on. Let's just get it over and done with, shall we? Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm all day. Oh, your hands are freezing. <coughs> Actually, um, I'm uh, with the doctors in half an hour. Can we, can we just do this later? When later? Well, I should be back for lunchtime. <sighs> push, Karen! Karen, push! Push, Karen! Oh. You call this a mattress? I've not had a wink of sleep. So why have I spent the whole night awake on the floor listening to you snore? Oh. Dad! Oh, where are the bogs? Oi! Cover yourself up! in the old dog yet. In dog years, you'd be dead. I've run out of tea bags. If it's room service you're after, maybe you want to sort things out with Mom. Oh. It's called contraception, being a responsible adult. You might want to try it sometime. I am not having this conversation with you. You can't bury your head in the sand. It's a storm and a teacup. I know you, Mum. She'll have had a good night's sleep and she'll be seeing sense by now. I'll pop down to the surgery, smooth things over. All right? How's Mum? Oh, Jack, total fruit loop. She's been up all night, she's baked more Vicky sponges. Oh, and forgotten to put the sugar in. Oh. How is Dad? He's heading down the campus surgery. Thinks Mum will be rolling out the red carpet. Rolling him up in it, more like. I'll try and head him off. Shouldn't you be at college? Yeah, general studies. The ethics of abortion. Funnily enough, I'm not in the mood. 118 over 75. That's perfectly normal. The medication's obviously working. Do you need a new prescription? Uh, yes, please. Completely normal, you say? Yep. Well, only that surprises me. The truth is, Dr. Carmichael, I've been a bit... a bit stressed of late. See, my wife and I were... Uh, well, things have been difficult recently. Really? We're, we're trying for a baby, you see. Uh-huh. And the pressure of... I'm afraid that's your 15 minutes, Mr. Dyson. We're going to have to make another appointment. In the meantime, I suggest you talk to a mate, go out and get drunk, do whatever it is new men do. Thank you. Custard cream? Oh dear, hope you haven't been overdoing the caffeine again. Excessive consumption can lead to indigestion, you know, if you're feeling nauseous. Oh no, no, it's nothing like that. Um, I just overdid it a bit last night, that's all. So much for the detox. Yeah, well, I thought I'd tox up a bit first, make it worth my while. Um, Mr. Works up, you can go through. Oh, to be young and in love again. Everything seems so uncomplicated at that age. Tell me about it. They Skyped Simon yesterday. Oh, how's he doing? Better, I think. Although he could do with getting out of the house. I was thinking of taking him somewhere this afternoon. Any idea what his hobbies are? 
Oh, I don't know. Um, astrology, I think. Horoscopes? Telescopes. And black holes. Stephen, what's his face? This will cheer you up. Whatever he's come to say, I'm not interested. I'm not leaving until you agree to talk to me. Imogen! Dad, this is not a good idea. Oh, please don't tell me they're from you. They're lovely, aren't they? I thought women liked flowers. Carnations? It's the thought that counts. She hates carnations, even I know that. Proof once more that he never listens. I never listen. Tell your mother that she's being ridiculous. Tell your dad to get lost. OK, uh, well, uh, lovely to see you. Why aren't you at work? I've got a day off. Most of the point, why aren't you at college? Because I'm worried about you both. It's between me and your mum, so butt out, all right? Listen to your dad. It's... We're grown-ups, so we can sort this out ourselves. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. <gasps> Hi, Emmy. Whatever. Kids who'd have them, eh? No more sleepless nights. Frank, have you got a second? Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think you'll find all the figures you need in there. Last year's profits, projected sales targets, and a uh, list of all our contracts. And your train tickets, of course. But this afternoon, the overnight conference in Leeds. Ah, the conference. Yes, yes, of course, yes. Uh, uh-huh. Well, it, it, it all seems to be in order. Yes, yes. Very good, thank you. Yeah. You just excuse me a minute. Well, you're going to have to get out of it somehow. How? I don't care how. Frank, honestly, this is not negotiable, all right? This is the first time I've ovulated in months. I know. And we agreed, didn't we? If I hadn't conceived by the time I was 40, then we'd go down the IVF route, which costs uh, thousands of pounds. So is that what you really want? No. No? Right. Well, I'll see you later then. You should have said. I, uh, I didn't want to make a fuss. I know what you're going through. I'll get one of the junior reps to cover the conference for you, not to give that a second thought. Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Sile. Bade you, please. Thank you. Thank you. I've taken the liberty of phoning the doctors. The Mill Health Centre don't have an appointment this morning, but they suggested we pop into the campus surgery. Best to act fast, don't you think? No. I know it can be hard to talk about these things, so I've already explained the situation. No point beating around the bush. I'll drive you there myself. Really? I that... insist. There's no need. <laughs> I think we both know that's a lie. Mr. Dyson, you can go through now. I can wait around for you afterwards, if you like. Bit of moral support. Really? That won't be necessary. You'd rather be on your own. I understand. Good luck. Karen, you gave me the wrong post. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't suppose you could recommend somewhere to eat round here, could you? Oh, I'm sorry, she's just got a bit of an upset stomach. Hey. Look, I don't know what's going on, and I know it's none of my business, but, um, do you think this is a good idea? You know, I mean, um, 
if it's if it's because of a silly row. It isn't. Right. Well, I, she's not really feeling herself at the moment, is she? See, the thing is, <clears throat> this might be um, your day off, but it's not hers. No, you're right. Okay. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll sort this out some other time. Has he gone? Uh, yeah, I just I thought I thought it would be good if he gave you some space. Uh, right. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I'm sure it's nothing. Better safe than sorry. Though why you didn't mention it before? I think it's gone now, actually. In the last 20 minutes. Look, I appreciate this is going to be a little uncomfortable, but it's very important that you just try and relax. Oh, don't! No! OK, I can't help you unless you let me examine you. No, you don't understand. Just lie down. I made it up. You what? Is this just some desperate attempt to get me to feel you up? No, I had to get out of the work meeting. So you told your boss you had prostate cancer? It just all got out of hand. He insisted on driving me here and I... Out! It's my wife. You said... Get out of this room! <sighs> I'm on my way, OK? Karen, hold on a bit. You ate it? I thought I could take you out for lunch, talk things over. I've only popped out for some airs. Oh, uh, how about a drink after work? you got 30 seconds. Right, OK. Uh, last night, I might have said some things that I, I shouldn't have. This must be really hard for you. You're, your hormones are all over the place at the moment. It's not your fault that you can't think straight. I don't want to see you anywhere near me, the kids, the house. Is that understood? Karen! What? Send me again, please, love. Be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Open your eyes. Da -da. What do you think? I thought it might help you take your mind off things. Frank, where are you, love? Oh, I said I was on my way. So what's keeping you? I had to go to the doctors. Again? Why? What's the matter with you? I had to pretend to be ill. My loony boss and sister are dragging me to the doctors. So are you happy now? You do know my brother died of prostate cancer. Mr. Sayal, I am so You're fired. That's what you are. How did it go again? My very eccentric mother's jokes sometimes upset nervous penguins. Was it nervous or nauseous, the penguins? Remember, how did you remember the order of the planets? I'm sorry, I can't sit here. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, sorry. sorry, thank you. Thanks. Sorry. Thank you. So, excuse me. Sorry. What was all that about? That's where Will and I were sitting when he first told me that he loved me. Get 
Back here! Go here! I'm so sorry. I'd never have suggested coming if I'd have known. It's fine. It was a nice thought. Fancy grabbing a late lunch somewhere, my treat? I'm not really hungry. Thank you. You sure? Anywhere you fancy? You hear about the, the new restaurant on the moon. Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> Terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> Execrable. So, is that a yes, then? <laughs> What's wrong? There's a serious case review on Scarlet Hammond. They want me to give evidence on Tuesday. Can we just go? They might help. Look. Your mother. My what? She wants grandchildren, doesn't she? Look. She loves. Your mother. What's the matter? Susie. Your mother. Hank. Oh, God. Your blood pressure is higher than it was this morning. I'll send you for some tests, but it sounds to me like you had a panic attack. Have you had an unusually stressful day? You don't know the half of it. And I don't want to after this morning. Look, I don't want to change your medication just yet, so loath as I am to say it, you need to come back next week and we'll review it then. Um, actually, Doctor, there was one other thing. Are you able to prescribe him Viagra? What? It's just, we're trying for a baby, you see, and uh, basically he, um, he... He can't get it up. How dare um, you? Okay, you have already taken up quite enough of my time for one day. You just never know when to shut up, do you? Right. There's something you want to say, you know, I'm all ears. Well, really. I am not, really. I know I'm not. What's she going on about? Hey. Sorry, Mum, not now. You and your bloody mother. You clearly have some issues that you need to talk through. Discussing your menstrual cycle for hours of a day. Somewhere else. Collecting pots of he, weed. He has absolutely no idea, you know, how stressful this is. I don't know why you're looking at me. What would you know about stress? Yes, yeah, yeah, stress. Eating right, um, sleeping right, basal temperature charts. Oh, you should try listening to yourself. Sometimes. And every week, you know, there's another article in the paper about, you know, the, the risks of late motherhood. Such a turn off. OK, I would like you both to leave now, please. Sex isn't fun anymore. Fun? What, you think I'm having fun? She rarely makes an effort. Yeah, I'll fake it every time. It's like a forest down there. Grow up, Frank. Sorry. I'm just say, what happened to spontaneity? Oh, spontaneity? I'm 39. Yep. And I'm only 39, but I want to go travelling and see the world. Oh, you want to see the world? You get travel sick on the way to the supermarket. To write a book. You want to write a book? You've never even read a book. Buy a sports convertible. 
can't even drive. I don't even fancy you. What? You don't! Why in God's name did you two ever get married? an awkward pause in the conversation. I just wanted a baby. Well, having a baby is not a God-given right. And there's more to life than being a parent. Easy for you to say. A child can put even the most solid of marriages under pressure. Your baby wouldn't even be out of nappies before the custody battle starts. Right. <laughs> Marriage guidance counsellor or divorce lawyer? Divorce. divorce. Divorce lawyer. Jack, are you in there? What are you doing here? Your mum and I... Look, I'll sleep on the floor this time. I'm really sorry, Dad. A girl from a few doors down complained to the hall warden about you staying last night. Oh, oh well, yeah, of course, yeah, that's... Uh, no problem. Why don't you try Brian or Jim? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Wait, have you eaten? I've got baked beans and a yoghurt. <laughs> nah, I'll, uh, I'll grab something with the lads. If there's anything else I can do. Well, actually, some, there is something you can do for me. I I hate the way that you sleep with your mouth completely open. Oh. I hate the way that you chew. Just on one side of your mouth when you eat. Well, uh, yeah, well, uh, exactly. Right. Come on. Your turn. <laughs> hate your vests. <laughs> hate your mother. Well, no, I hate my mother. That don't count. I hate the way you snort when you laugh. I hate the face that you pull when you put on your lipstick. Well, actually, I hate the way that you mouth aloud when you read. So there. I hate the way that you eat cotton in the car. Well, I hate the way that you always announce when you're about to. Uh... And you know, you always, and I hate this. Mm. Do that thing with my ears when you drop. I hate it. What do you mean? Well, that thing. That thing. Stop it. <laughs> I thought you'd be long gone by now. Yeah, well, that's not in any hurry to get home. Rob. I threw him out. What oh, was Aura woman going to do? With my relationship history, I'm the last person you should ask. Oh, I don't know. You seem to do a good job this afternoon. I could hear that couple screaming at each other all the way out in reception, yet when they came out, I'm seeing you. They're as calm as toads in a sauna. Ah, oh, yes. So what's your secret? Do you really want to know? Yeah. A good divorce lawyer. You're unbelievable. What's the big deal? I did the planet a favour by destroying yet another sexless marriage. Please, Mom. I made it specially. Just one mouthful. That's delicious, thank you. Bro. Jack. We are. You scared the life out of us. Sorry. What are you doing here? Just wanted to make sure you're both okay. Oh, please. Oh, hello. You come to drop your option off, you? It's all right. What? Give me the bag, Jack. No. This is your dad's. Did he send you here? You need some clothes for work, Mum. Be reasonable. Reasonable? You, are you calling me unreasonable? 
What, what's he been saying? Is he, is he trying to turn you against me? No. This... Oh, this could be your brother or sister he wants me to abort. I mean, what if it had been one of you two? <laughs> now look what you've done! What are you doing? Mum! Take it. That's it. Take it! Mum's going mental. I hate this. When are you coming home? You're just going to have to be patient, love. Your mum just needs a little bit of space. It'll all sort itself out. How? Just give it time. I can hear traffic. Where are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to Brian's. He's put me up for a couple of nights. So you're OK? I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Promise. I love you. Yeah, and I love you too. Look after your mum for me, won't you? OK. Bye. It's like this. People come into work. People would love to see you. I can't talk about this with you. We're here to find out who attacked Ricky, so don't go playing knight in shining armour. <laughs> <laughs>